If your text layer is on a black background, don't forget to disable the drop shadow, otherwise the edges look blurry or low quality. Add Gaussian blur to your overlays like particles to help it blend in with your clip, plus it looks more realistic overall. Effects crashing when removing them? First, enable the global FX button which removes all effects, then remove the effect and re-enable the setting. Black files aren't compatible with Premiere Pro but renaming the extension to WAV somehow makes it work. You don't need to always make a new project file, just create a new sequence within an existing project with your desired settings, which is useful if you want to quickly experiment with something new. Add the posterize time effect to change an overlay's frame rate to 12, which looks better over anime clips. Another overlay tip, if using Twixter then use the contrast slash edge enhance setting, I found that it looks better than delinearize. Stuck using the text tool when you maximize your frame, just double click the program monitor at the top. Sometimes opacity doesn't work, so create a black video and use it as an alternative for fade-ins and outs. Head to File, Project Settings, Scratch Discs and change all of these to same as project. This speeds up rendering previews plus Premiere Pro overall if the location is on a D drive. 